assalamu alaikum friends my name is muhammad yunus and i am Udo technical developer in today's video we are going to talk about how to add the settings page for our custom module so in at the end of this video you will learn like how to add these settings so what this does for example if you click this checkbox you can set a default limit for the number of seats on the session model uh, and it is a uh, company specific so this boolean is a uh, global and this value will be company specific and uh, you will also learn that how to add a configuration for installing and uninstalling in a module like activating or deactivating a feature for example uh, we have uh, a custom module uh, with the name uh, open academy website which is this one so if we click if we check this box and save it this module will install automatically and if we uncheck it it will uninstall so i will discuss all these things in this video that how you can set up so please watch this video till the end okay so let me show you how to do a configuration for any module so for example we will uh, see the configuration for the sales module so if you go to the configuration and click the sales and click the settings button you will see this uh, that the configurations is under this model so we need to inherit this model and uh, if we uh, see the action you will be able to see the external id of the action so let me uh, see it so this is the external id of this action let me search this inside the udu say like to find out that how it is defined so we need to find it it in the sales module let me search it sales so here and inside the sale we need to check it inside the views okay search for this action sale configuration we need to check in xml file so this is the action that uh, we are looking for so let me just open this and here it is so this action is uh, like pretty similar to the one uh, that we are using for the normal uh, menus but here is a difference like the target should be in line and the context should be these two parameters okay so we will just do it uh, this way and uh, as you know that uh, whenever we want to add some new actions and some new views we need to add the menu item so first of all we will have to add the menu items uh, for the configuration and then the settings because it is uh, two menus one is the parent which is configuration and then the settings menu so let me add the menus and the actions and views and then i will uh, come back because you already know that how you can add uh, the menu items but there is a little bit difference like uh, in udo 16 you can add the parent child relation in the uh, menu items uh, the way i will show you so in, uh, in order to do so first of all let me go to our custom module and add a, a file in the models with uh, raise settings sorry settings config or you can say raise config settings okay so in this uh, file uh, I think I have added a so I added the directory not the file so let me remove this and let me add a file okay raise uh, config settings so here we need to uh, import Udo models import from Odoo import models fields and then we need to inherit uh, this class uh, raise config settings uh, models dot transient model so it is actually the transient model that is used for the uh, settings because the data should not be stored permanently in the database in this case inherit raise dot config dot settings 
So here we will add, uh, we will define the fields for all this uh, stuff. So the first uh, thing is that, uh, like as I already showed you, that we need to add uh, the field for uh, default number of seats. So first we need to add a Boolean field. Uh, let me just add the fields here and then we will come back. Okay, so I added two fields, a use number of seats, which is a Boolean field. This is a string and this is the configuration parameter that we need to use. So this, this configuration parameter is used to store the data and to get the data back in the field when we reload the page. So this is very important. You need to define first the module name and then you can use anything like that. Uh, just differentiate this from the other values. It should be unique. So it, I should not match any other parameter and this is the integer field where we want to store the data so uh, this a uh, use number of seats boolean field we want to make it a global and it should not be company specific so we will store the data in this configuration model and uh, the next field we want to make it a uh, company specific so in this case we need to add it a related uh, with the company so if you add uh, it related to the company we will have to add this field in the company model also so in order to do so i need to inherit the company model also models dot model inherit raise dot company and here i need to add the same field like this and it should be read only true so that I can edit the values. Okay, so this is just uh, from the technical point, like from the uh, Python model. And now we need to add uh, the file in the XML for the view. Uh, okay, so that we can see the view. It should be inside the views and it should be an XML file. Raise uh, config, the config settings dot xml so add uh, the encoding and then udo like this so here we need to add the menu for the configuration and the settings uh, and let me just show you how it is done in udo so here is the action and let me try to search for the menu item specific to this action so let me search in this so here is uh, the menu item let me see so here you can see this menu item for the settings and this is the parent menu which is configuration. So in Udo 16 you can add the parent child uh, menu items uh, like externally you can define the menu item uh, for the parent one and then the child uh, menu items you can define within the menu takes. Okay. So the same way I will define for uh, our module. So let me just copy the code and uh, paste in our uh, file like this so uh, here you can see i have added this menu item and then closed the take here and this is actually the child menu of this one therefore it is inside this uh, menu item okay this is the root menu like the parent menu which i have defined in the views file okay and uh, this is the action which is uh, like the action to open the settings view and here uh, we need to give the specific view id which we are going to define because uh, with this name there can be multiple views uh, like for this model there can be multiple views each module have uh, if they have a setting page so there is a view available for this so if you don't specify the view id for the action then the action get confused and it can define that it can open the default form view and you need to pass the module name here and the rest will remain the same okay so let me add uh let me see how the form view looks like for the action uh so we have already uh, uh opened the file for the um, sales module so here at the top we will see that uh it is defined the same way like the normal form view uh, but here is the difference like we need to uh, use this x path and then this div to uh, 
add the view for the configuration so i have just copy all this and uh, let me just uh, add it here and then uh, we will discuss uh, one by one okay so i will paste it here like this let me close all the tags okay it is done so i just uh, add the open academy here so that it we can differentiate that what is the purpose of this view and uh, the rest should remain the same only change that i made is here that we can see o uh, underscore not underscore app so we need to remove this uh, class from here which i have already removed you need to add uh, these things like data string should be your module name and this should be your module name and this should be the technical name of your module and if you want to add any group which we discuss we will discuss later and i just removed it so you can add it so here is the uh, title for this settings you can add the title okay and then we need to add the fields so in order to add the fields uh, we can use these uh, bootstrap classes for uh, different views uh, you can just edit i have just added the fields um, and i will just copy the code because i don't want to waste your time based on these css classes okay so i will just copy the code and let's see okay so i just copied the code and here uh, i have added the module name uh, sorry the field name and here we have for example in the sessions uh, in the race config uh, model race config settings model we have two fields so we need to add uh, this field as a boolean and we need to define this field as uh, to set the value so this is uh, the boolean field and this is the label or like the label for the uh, other field which is where we need to set the value and uh, these are some of the titles where, which where you can specify that what is the purpose of this field so this field is just specific to company so i just added this and here is the text that you can add for uh, for the explanation of for the purpose of this field so we want to make this field invisible uh, if this uh, checkbox is not activated so if it is uh, false then uh, in make it invisible but if it is uh, true then it will be uh, visible okay and here uh, it will be required if uh, the checkbox is true okay so let me just uh, restart Udo service but before that we need to do one thing that we need to add this field in the manifest in this file in the manifest at the end here uh, views and then the file name uh, comma and the other thing we need to do is the in the models we have added the py file so we need to add here from dot import raise settings okay like this now we need to restart Odoo service and then we need to upgrade the module so go to apps okay the module has been upgraded so let me refresh this page and then we will see uh, the we will go to the modules to the custom module to see the configuration page so let me go to the open academy module okay so we can see that uh, the settings page has been added so let me open it and here you can see now uh, if i activate this option you can see that it is now visible and uh, let me see the company I activated is san francisco so let me just set a value of uh, 10 and save it so here you can see that this is activated and the value is stored uh, in the database so let me just uh, change the company and you will see that this will uh, again change to uh, zero because this default limit field is set for the company it is company specific and the checkbox is a global okay you can see it is checked but it is a reset so if you set here 20 and save it so now you will be able to access different values for different company okay if i change it back to this one and here you will uh, see the value that is set for this company okay you can see 
that uh, value 10 is set for this company okay now let me show you where these values are stored so if you go to the settings and technical and scroll down so here you will see system parameters so the values that are uh, global are uh, stored here in this uh, model but the values that are company specific are stored in the company model so here uh, if i search for uh, open academy so here you can see this uh, use number of seats value is true so this uh, checkbox is stored here globally but the value that is uh, spe company specific are stored in the company model now we need to add another uh, function another feature to like another checkbox which uh, which can install the module so it is very simple for example uh, in, in our uh, custom directory we have created a module with the name odu od open academy website this include the website features currently it is empty but uh, we will add the website related feature in this module so we want to add it in the configuration that whether we want to activate the website features for this module or not so in order to do so we need to add a field here for uh, this so what should be the field name so the field name or a uh, specific to the module so whatever the module name is it should be uh, like that so let me add it here here uh, you can see that uh, the module name is od open academy website and at the start we need to just add module underscore and then the module name okay and then we just need to add this in the xml okay so i have already added the xml code for this so let me just copy the code and then uh, we can see the changes okay so let me edit here like this okay so it is added and now okay so i think i should be edit it outside the menu item okay yes so it is not at the right place so let me just edit here and close this tick like this okay so this is the id for the field okay and here is the field name which we have added here which is this one here is the same field uh, label it is just the label and here is the detail for the functionality okay so let me restart this uh, service and then let me upgrade the module. So the module has been upgraded and let me refresh this page. So here you can see the checkbox has been added. So if I activate this checkbox and uh, save it, it will uh, install the module so let me show you the module that is not already installed like this is not yet activated so let me save this and then i will show you that uh, the module has been installed okay so this uh, function is activated and let me uh, refresh this page here so here you can see this module is now installed so if if you want to deactivate it from this mm, settings page you just need to uh, uncheck it and it will uh, give you the warning that this this uh, unchecking will uninstall a module uh, which is okay in this case you can see disabling this option will also uninstall the following module so it is okay and just save it okay so now let me just show you if the module is uninstalled and yes it is uninstalled so this is how simply you can add the settings page so we will discuss another option here uh, in order to uh, like to add some further feature in the settings uh, page uh, we will discuss in the next video so please uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos thank you